you've probably spotted them. License plates that look damaged or are obscured, which could thwart traffic cameras and avoid tickets and tolls. And nowhere is the problem worse than right here in the Big Apple. Officials say these scoff laws cost the city more than $100 million every year. Now, one citizen sleuth has made it his mission to hold them accountable. Hey, it's Gersh Kunstman on Baxter Street. Veteran journalist Gersh Kunstman roams the city fixing illegible plates, one car at a time. Oh, won't you smile for the camera? I know they're going to love it. His tools, a Sharpie and a screwdriver and an uncanny any ability to spot a questionable license plate. He says he's making the streets safe by ensuring speed cameras capture the plates of dangerous drivers, especially in school zones. You could be speeding all over the place. You're really riding under the radar. Yeah. He's amassed thousands of fans online who even recognize him on the street. This guy's a New York City hero. But others tell him to beat it. You're starting allegations of your business. Yeah, it actually is my business. It actually is. I live in this city. I live nearby. So just how big is the problem? Here's one right here. Right here. And this is what's interesting about oh this my car. Goodness. He looked up this vehicle's history. This guy used to get speeding tickets fairly regularly until about late 2020. So presumably he's had this condition for a few years and he's avoided speed camera tickets. And you wouldn't believe who it belongs to. He's got a placard that says NYPD. That's right, he's an NYPD cop. A spokesman claims it was natural wear and tear that the officer only recently noticed. But cops must have been watching as we scoped out the plate. Two hours later, we're back and look at this. Brand new plates. And that wasn't the only government employee who was driving around with suspicious plates. According to the placard, this car is owned by a district attorney consultant. What caught my eye was these two little white patches. And sure enough, he's got KDE turned into KDF. I would give this guy an A plus for effort. The district attorney's office says they opened an investigation into his license plate and that employee has now resigned. Gersh Kunstman says he's found 100 defaced plates and more than 60 belong to government employees. Kunzman says the driver of this car is a repeat offender. His unique approach, covering this license plate with leaves. Kunzman has caught him not once or twice, but five times. It's kind of become a game with me and Leafman. I pull it off, he puts it back. Inside Edition producer Will Evans caught up with the car's owner. We just wanted to know if you're trying to avoid tickets with, oh. the, with the leaf. I backed into a tree. You backed into a tree. <laughs> you heard right. At first, he claims a leaf got stuck in his plate after he backed into a tree. But then... I got to pay for every uh, uh, light that uh, changes and uh, the speed. They're ripping us off. City records show that Leaf Man has racked up more than $6,000 in fines over the last five years.